ratio and by proportions. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. What is matter to do this topic? For example, this is a very easy thing. Okay, and uh, I'm not wasting your time. I will just spend my time on a important part. For example, uh, it, it, look at here. This question is good to start. I think so. Uh, I think we should take uh, this question, 13. What a question number 13 is here. He is saying that $40 is total amount and you have to divide this quantity in the given ratios. So what is technique here? <coughs> total money is how much? Total amount or total money is how much? Total amount, I write the word, is $1.40. And total ratio is how much? Total ratio. Total ratio is 3 plus 5. So I believe you understanding what I am saying. Okay, in this option, uh, Abdurrahman, what you do? My son, you write two titles. Title one number is called dollar sign. Second is called ratio. From where I got it? I got this ratio because this ratio given and this is called dollar because amount given. If I have a kilogram given, I will write kg. Okay, I think all understanding. So total money is how much? Concentrate, please. Total money is how much? $40. I write $40 here. Total ratio how much? Is 8. I'm writing 8 in front of each other. And I'm looking for uh, a money against $3, 3, 3 ratio. And here, X and cross multiply. I repeat again. I repeat again. What is the planning behind the scene? Total money, total ratio. I write in front of each other. <clears throat> Bilal, okay? Total money, total ratio. And three ratio I given and how much amount I write X here. So I believe the point is very clear. Now cross multiply. Y3, very good. Because he given us the question top. Read it. Bilal, what mention here? Divide the quantity in the ratio given. What ratio given? Three and five. So I use three first of all. Bilal, okay? I use three my son from here. So let's cross multiply. 8 multiply with x and 3 multiply with 40. Bilal, any confusion? This 8 will go down and it will look like this. And you know it, Bilal, 8, 5 is 40. 8, 1 is 8. 8, 5 is 40. And marriage, this 5, 3 is 15. So first amount is how much? Dollar 15. And, <coughs> and Bilal, how to find second, second amount? From 40, subtract 15. So second amount is what? So 40 minus 15 become 25. $25. Bilal, any question? Okay. I think all of understanding. Abdurrahman, any problem? Okay. So Abdurrahman, take a screenshot, please. 13 part, this 13 only. Yes. No, 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 no. You can take any. You can take any. Okay. I think we should go for one question more, okay? And which you will try, but you will not send me. You will not send me, just try only. Okay, this is point is clear. And you will solve one question for me. And that question which I'm giving you is, one minute, please. Uh, so as a test, do question number 14. All of you try, please, 14. And uh, uh, just wait for me. And when you finish, so just wait for me. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, uh, student, let's start. How to do this one? First of all, total amount. Question number 14, I'm, I have given. So I'm solving myself now. So total amount is how much? It's very clear, $1.20. And total ratio, how much? Total ratio. Total ratio is just simply add. Add 3 plus 7 become 10. So what is the way to do it? Titles. Title number 1, dollar. Title number 2 is R for ratio or write full word, no problem. Total dollars, 120, total ratio, 10. So always keep in front of each other. Total dollar, total ratio. I'm looking, looking for three now. So I'm writing three ratio and it's called X, cross multiply. So 10 times to X and, and three times to 120. This 10 divides there and three into 120 by 10. Zero, zero cancel. I got first amount 36. And how to get second dollar, second ratio, second amount, 
So I can find simply from 120 subtract 36. So 120 subtract 36. So if we subtract 130, so with this, it is simply <clears throat> is 84. So second amount, first dollar is 36, second amount is 84. So I think very, very clear. And now we'll do one more question of same nature, slightly, I'll raise, uh, I will raise your level up. Okay, so let's start for the second question. But this time I will give you uh, some tough idea. Way is same. Okay, and let's see how you tackle it. Okay, one minute, please. I think um, this is good to do, 19 number. Okay, not very hard, but take you two minutes only. First you try, then inshallah, I will do for it. So what a question is, student, $143 divided into three ratios. And what is the difference between the largest and smallest share? Largest is uh, five and the smallest ratio is two. I will not care the four one, okay? But uh, total amount, I'm writing here, total amount is $143. And total ratio, I always, I said before, we always try for total ratio or total amount. Total ratio, add them all. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. And now I write two titles. Title number 1, dollar. Title number 2, ratio. And total dollar, 143. Total ratio, 11. But I need now smallest amount. So I will keep 2 here. And here, S for smallest. Cross multiply. So S times 2, 11. And 2 times 2, 143. 11 will divide. When 11 will divide on right hand side, uh, I'm just doing direct now. The answer is coming $26. Same way, students, I will go for uh, uh, the, the smallest done. I'm going for largest. So again, two title dollar and ratio. And I'm writing this time again, $140 total amount and total ratio. But this time I will take five ratio. Why five ratio? Because the largest L for largest amount. When I find largest amount, so cross multiply. So L, time, L times to 11 equal to five times to 143. This 11 will divide and I'm doing direct answer. 143 into five by 11. And answer is coming 65. So largest amount is coming 65. And he asked the difference. The so difference between them, 65 minus 26. And I believe the point is very clear. And dollar thirty nine, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, the point is clear. So this is a, the same exercise and question number thirty. So all will try this question now. Okay, do it carefully, and then I will move, Inshallah, on the next topic. So ratio. After this, I will finish. So take your time and solve. Then Inshallah, I'll do my. So I have given this question. Let's start, student. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. First of all. <clears throat> what a whole idea. Total stamps are 5,000. 5, total stamps, 5,000. Correct. And he said that boy, uh, brother and sister, they will divide it. In what ratio? 5, 3. And then brothers share, further divide in, with the two friends and himself. Okay. Uh, share his stamp with, with two friends in this ratio. So maybe he, uh, he keeping, him, uh, keeping most of himself. So it means there's a this is uh, himself, this is a friend number one, this friend number two. Okay, so I think point is very clear. How many stamps do each of these friends see? Okay, so let's start. First of all, we must know how many, like brother got after that division. So let's start. Total stamps are very clear. Total stamps. Stamps are clear 5,000. And total ratio, how much? Total ratio is very clear, is eight. How I, I got eight is five plus three. Very clear. Now what I will do it here, I will write here stamps. I write here ratio, total stamps, total ratio. Very clear idea. Now I'm looking for brothers, brothers share how much? Brothers share, you know, can see that brother and sister in five, three. So brother is the first number and, and sister is the second number. So five, I will use five here. So B for brother, cross multiply. 
a time to b equal to 5 time to 5000 this 8 will divide and i'll get a brother's total steps so 5 time to 5000 divided by 8 i get 3125 stamps so brother will get how much total so brother will get this many stamps 31215 okay game is not finished he said now this he, that this boy i mean brother he will distribute this uh, this ratios in this this one and we need, need to know of of uh, each friend receive how much and i tell you now again now this stamps will become a total stamps now so total stamps total stamps how many 3125 and total ratio how many how much total ratio ratio what, what ratio actually uh, i talk about this ratio because that total stamp remaining one will distribute in this uh, rule so three and one and one so three plus one four plus one five so this five will come from here it has a no connection with that previous one make sure so this five will come in so total uh, so this many stamps i will divide in five ratio i think got idea but friends will what is the ratio stamps of the friends one one so i will do what i will do what i will write again stamps title and write ratio title so total stamps i'm writing under it and total ratio i'm writing under it and i write one only and f f stand for friend so let's start so f time to five equal to one times two three one two five and this five will divide and as i divide i get what 625 stamps so it means both friends both friends will get 325 stamps each each 625 oh sorry 625 so thank you very much I wrote something else and say something. Okay, so 625 stamps each. Why? Because it's very, very clear. Because actually one ratio, one and five. So not, so not five, uh, it's a three, sorry. So this is a th this is actually five, make it five. So this is a friend number one, this is himself. Friend number one, friend number two. And I hope so, the point is very clear. That is why I wrote this one here and this five on the top. So I think the point is very, very clear. Yes, student, let's start now uh, the concept of uh, proportion, okay? So have a look here. Proportions concept, there are two kinds of proportions in our syllabus. One is called directly proportion, it's called inversely proportion. So two kinds of proportions. Now, what is directly inversely? I just give idea. If, if something, one thing increases, second also increases, this is called directly proportional. Or if one thing is in, decreases, Second also decreases, is also called directly, directly proportional. But if one value increases, second decreases, this is called inversely proportional. And reverse, if one is increases, second decreases, this is also called inversely proportional. And I believe all of you understood well, inversely proportional, what I'm saying. So have a look now. Some question we'll try from here. I think two questions enough from here. One question I will do, and one I'll give a task to do. Uh, a car uses 10 liters of petrol of 75 kilometers. What titles we use here? Liter title and kilometer title. So I write here, liter, kilometer. So 10 liters take 75 kilometers. How far it will go for eight liters? So eight liters and question mark. Now common sense here, uh, you think you commonly that if, 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 if one liter, let's say your car moves 12 kilometers with one liter, with two liters, it will move 24 kilometers. It means as I increased, distance also increased because they are same, same directions called directly proportional. And whenever directly proportional question come, we simply multiply like this. This, is, this arrow representation is called directly proportional. So x multiply into 10 and 8 multiply with 75 and 10 will come under it and ultimately we get answer what? 
75 times to 8 divided by 10. And my answer is coming that distance, how much uh, kilometers, so distance traveled, how much? So distance traveled is a uh, 60 kilometers. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I think you got a point. Now do one favor. There are um, uh, two questions of a uh, directly proportion, number six and number seven. So give one favor, these two questions you try now, okay? And then I will do, inshallah, uh, inversely proportion concept. Go ahead. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim question number six, I have given, I'm doing, wire 11 centimeter long is mass 186. So two titles, gram title and centimeter title. So always decide first, what are the titles we have to use? 11 centimeter, how much, how much is, is mass? 187. And 7 centimeter. So M for mass. Okay, M question mark. So cross multiply. 11 times to mass, M equal to 7 times to 187. 11 will divide. And when 11 will divide, 187 into 7 divided by 11. And my answer is coming, mass is becoming 119 grams. Hold on. And you know why I would have this cross? Because I know common sense that if 11 centimeter, like I give example, one centimeter is, let's say, is a, is a give example, 10 grams, two centimeter will be 20 grams. What is going on? As the length is increasing, as the length is increasing, the mass increasing. So this behave as a directly proportional. That is why I put a cross like that. But now, okay, the question number seven, I think I should do the same way. So let's start question number seven. And then I'll go for inversely proportional concept, inshallah. Uh, question number two, seven. He said that 36 toys, I repeat, shopkeeper can buy 36 toys for this much amount. So what titles we have this time? Dollar and toys. So two titles we have. Dollars and toys. So dollar how much? How much dollar? How many dollars? So 20.52 amount. And toys how many? 36. 36. Okay. And 120, how much payment for that? 120. So naturally, so uh, this is a difficulty D for dollars. Again, cross multiply. You ask why, sir? What is the logic behind it? Common sense, when you go to market and let's say you want toy, you're getting by 20. Two toy, you'll get what? 20 into two. Three toys, we get by 20 into three. If that's the same toy. So it is also sense generates from here directly proportional as Amount increasing, you're getting more toys, common sense. So it means directly, that is why I just multiply it directly. And I think I can do direct answer. This multiply this and divide by 36. So I am doing directly one to zero into 20 point, uh, sorry, 20.52 and divide by 36. And my answer is coming is, uh, is as uh, how much pay? So dollars 68.4. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe. The point is very clear. And now I'm going to discuss with you inversely proportional concept. Yes, we're now we're discussing inversely proportional concept. This question is a very good uh, idea for this kind of thing. Okay, let's start. <coughs> First of all, let's start. This is a wall, let's say, and three people build a wall in 10 days. Okay, like a three person are enough, for example, to make a wall. This is a labor, three people enough. But he's saying that, okay, how, lo how long it will take for the five people? Like, a, what is the title we have? People and days. I repeat my words. People and days. Hold on. People are three and days take total 10. Now, common sense, if same wall, same wall, if, if same wall, same wall, not a change at all. If five people you uh, use you uh, adjust on the same work on the same work, so what will happen? Naturally, they because manpower is increased, so they can finish the job in less time. So it means number of people. I just ask you, if you if you for example number of people increased, make it five people here. So naturally, time will become decreased. Common sense. Now I repeat because it is inversely proportional concept. Because number of people increase, people increase, days decrease. 
because people increase days, decrease is called inversely proportional. Don't do cross multiply, this is wrong. Then it's called, this is a way to write it. You see the way of writing, how to write it. I'm writing for you, five times two T equal to three times two 10. First of all, I just repeat again what I'm doing. This five goes down and three into 10 by five and uh, five ones are five, five twos are 10 and six. It means six days. So look at here, six days. Can you imagine? First three people working, they are finishing same wall in 10 days. And now I increase the number of men and they are finishing in less number of days because they're finishing first 10 days, now finishing same job in six days. So I believe the concept is very, very clear. And okay, similar okay. kind of question is here available. Similar kind of question. Okay, I just give a help. When, for example, you bought a food for your home, for, for example, for your home, whenever some guests will come to your home, so same food will not last for a long time. People of home increase, the food uh, uh, will decrease, uh, will, uh, like will decrease, will finish early. So that is why when food and people come, or work and people come. They're always called inversely proportional concept. So take your time, try number eight, then I'll do myself in short. So let's start, student. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I given this question, I have given this question now, this number eight I'm going to do now. So I'll get ready. A ship has a sufficient food for uh, 600 passengers and it will, it will uh, sufficient, it will finish, it will last in three weeks. It will finish in three weeks. Now, how long? It means 600 passengers and three weeks. I'll come here. I'll, uh, so first of all, I write titles. This is my habit. I always write titles. Okay. Then he said, how long a food lasts for 800 people? If people increased, okay, and food is same. So let's see how many weeks it will take. Common sense. As I said before, in the previous example, as the number of people will increase, so the food and the food uh, will, will decrease and food finished early, okay? Uh, I just give all a simple example always. For example, you are five member in family, five members, okay? And you bought a, 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 some food for your one week only. Let's say two guests came, two guests came. So that food will not finish in one week, will finish early. Why early? Because it will take maybe four days, maybe five days, okay? So it means number of people increase, and the time of ending will reduce, reduce. So that is why we should not put cross like this. This is called wrong. This is not directly proportional. It's called inversely proportional concept. So some students do like this. This become question wrong. So we should write how? We should write W into that and three into that. This away. So W into 800 and 300 into 600. This is a way to do <clears throat> inversely proportional concept. Sorry, this is 800. Okay, now, uh, yes, there's double zero cancels. And this 18, 18 divided by eight, it is giving us 2.25. So how many weeks? So 2.25 weeks, it will finish. I hope so, the point is very clear. And let's go for next plan. Yes, one last question we try today, this lecture. And that's question number 11. So try this question only, and then inshallah, finish our lecture. And in next lecture, inshallah, we'll do for next part. So go ahead, please. This question solve and give me a verbal call only. So let's start, students. Uh, what a question is, three men, okay, and they finish. They can build a wall for 10 hours. So three men, 10 hours. And how many men are needed to build in, in a time 7.5 hours? 7.5 hours. Actually, you want to finish in less time. I've given a small idea. If one, uh, if, uh, sorry, wait a minute. Mm, yeah, uh, it looks look like three men you applied and they finish a job in 10 hours. You want to finish in less time. If you want to finish less time, naturally you have to, you need more people. So it means more people. So I think I can say here, this is not directly proportional, wrong, wrong. It is called inversely proportional. And how to write it? This multiply with that and this multiply with that. This is a way to do directly, sorry, inversely proportional concept. And I believe the point is gradually clear. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, you learn the concept. What is a way to do 
directly and indirectly inversely proportional. So men are total, you need four because three people can finish in 10 hours. If you, if, if you apply four people, four men, so they will finish the whole same job in less time. So I hope so today's lecture is clear. Next lecture, what I'm planning to finish with you, percentage and uh, ratio is over. Percentage, I will finish with you next lecture. And I will teach you percentage increase and percentage decrease. This concept also, inshallah, I will clear next lecture. If I able to finish all these, okay. Otherwise, I will take one more lecture for simple interest and compound interest. So it means maybe two lectures or maybe one lecture. I will finish this all concept. Then inshallah, we'll go on our past papers concept.